Hi guys, my name is Dan Butler, I'm the product trainer for DJ Kit and today I'm going to be talking you through the Mixtrap Pro 2 from Numark. In the last video I went over the basic controls of the unit and in this video I'm going to go over the more advanced settings. So, we've covered the mixer, the jog wheels, the pitch sliders, now I'm going to attack the effects section. So, to display your effects in Serato DJ, select the DJ effects button on the left hand side, you get its drop down menu. And here's where we can choose our effects. So if I play some music, I press the top MPC pad, that will switch the effect on and off. And then the encode at the top is my depth, depth control. So a high pass filter is getting rid of the low frequency. Really good for build ups. Next is I've got a phaser. So a modulation bass effect and an echo. And there's a few more effects I can choose from. I've got a low pass filter, a flanger, and a reverb. So if I put low pass filter on and the drop down. This time the opposite of high pass, so I'm eliminating high frequencies. Manager, another modulation based effect. And the reverb, it's a studio style reverb as well, so it's not a poor reverb. And a good thing to note about Serato is that the effects are now done by Isotope. So if any of you produce, you'll know that they do production effects, so ozone, alloy, stuff like that. I'll go back to the beginning. If I engage an effect, say flanger, I can change the beat multiplier, so using the fourth encoder where it says beats, I'm now changing the rate of the effect. And you can switch between manual and automatic DPM detection. I can use the tap button, so the fourth MPC pad, and it will see I can tap the tempo in. Or if you want it to do it auto, hold it down and now it's picking up the tempo source from the BPM. The most interesting effect to play with a beats multiplier is the echo. And the echo tail will pick up movements like scratches. So this is really good for creative if you're mixing out of stuff. I can fade out like that. And then you can start using all three effects together at once. So That covers the effects section, including the beats multiplier. I know this is when we get more interested into using the shift function a lot more. So on the first MPC pad, if I press shift, we're in our loop mode. So the first MC MPC pad is for the start of your loop. So and then press out when I want to make the loop. And now this blue region in Serato is reading the loop I've just done. And it will just keep on looping. Really good for creative mixing. Um, if I want to shorten the loop, I can press the fourth MPC pad, and press shift if I want to go back, and then I can start using my effects for this sort of stuff. And if I want to get out of this loop, I can press the third MPC pad and I'm out of the loop. But if I want to get back into it, I can hit the, re the same button and it will re-loop the portion I've just looped. So 
I come to the looping section, if I go onto the second NPC pad while holding the sample, while holding shift, sorry, I enter, the, I enter the sample mode. So if I move away from the DJ effects section and hit the samples tab next to it, here's some preloaded samples I put in from sample packs. So I can trigger samples. So this gets really creative because you can start playing your own beats live. So. Any sample really works. You can control, you can eject it and control the volume as well, and just, uh, alter the play, play from start points. So, and this is uh, universal to both decks. So if I go onto the sample menu on the second deck, so I could be in loop mode here while still triggering these samples using this free deck while nothing's playing. And to uh, to put your own samples in, I've created my own little just samples create in Serato and you just drag and drop so tra and you, you can do it with full tracks if you want to or you can chop it up if so if you use production systems like uh, live or logic you can chop up your own samples feed them in that way so that covers the sampling section if I go on to the third NPC pad option we get hot cues so this lets us do free hot cues so I can set points in the track saved to the track's metadata. So if I want to go to breakdowns really quickly, outros, or anything like that, I can. So I just hit a cue point there. I can just press to, to hit a cue point. So, and that's highlighted in red. I can set another one. That's highlighted in orange. And I can do another one, which will be highlighted in blue. Obviously, if you have the time before the gig, it's good to go through it, and I could have that being the intro, that being the second breakdown, and that being an outro. And if you want to delete them, press the form NPC pad, and press the buttons. So then, now I've freed up another three spaces. And I can start using my effects for this as well. So I turn on an echo. So that about covers the advanced features of the box NPC pads. It's worth noting that if you press shift on the top pads, we get an auto one bar, uh, so a one beat loop. Uh, an auto two beat loop. Press the reboot button to get out of that. Four beat loop. I can manipulate that same way as I would do before. And the final one is a 16 beat loop. So this is really good for like an outro, so if, you, if you're running out of time and you haven't set a cue point, you can have that 16-beat loop just running like that, and then you can mix in with the other track using sync or using it manually. 